Hello everyone. Welcome back to a new video on dentistry and more. Today's topic is apexogenesis and apexification, the basic differences in procedure and the concept. As the name suggests, apexogenesis is creation of root end by a physiological process and apexification is root closure by inducing method. So let's see what is apexogenesis and apexification. So apexogenesis, we will start with apexogenesis. The basic idea is keep the pulp alive. So we are preserving the pulp. We are not allowing the pulp to die off. So the genesis of apex, so we are promoting the root formation or root closure by a natural process or a physiological process. That is why it's known as apexogenesis because we have a pulp which is very alive which can promote growth and form a root closure and a natural physiological process so it is a physiological process of root development so apexogenesis or apexification we do when the pulp is infected when there is caries or any other way if the pulp is infected we can opt apexogenesis or apexification so if apexogenesis there should be a vital pulp and it should be normal or pulp tissue with minimal inflammation that is the point there should be very minimal inflammation we can go for apexogenesis a normal pulp so apexogenesis can be done by using pulpotomy direct pulp capping or indirect pulp capping so it is just removing the little bit of coronal pulp and keeping it dressing and allowing to form a barrier or a dentinal barrier and allowing the root to go with the natural physiological process so that is apexogenesis so normal root and development will happen it promotes root closure and there will be formation of dentinal bridge at the coronal side because we are keeping MTA or calcium hydroxide and also it allows sustaining Hartwig's sheath which allows root formation so normal root length will be obtained so what are the techniques the basic technique is uh, we keep uh, anesthesia we give anesthesia and we remove the inflamed pulp we control the hemorrhage and the basic protocol we follow and we keep MTA in a ratio of 3 is to 1 or calcium hydroxide but mostly MTA is preferred because it has more of a regenerating potential so that is the apexogenesis process now let's move on to apexification so what is the difference between these two here we are inducing development of root apex formation or root apex closure we are inducing there is no natural process there is no physiological process because the pulp is non-vital because it itself cannot repair it it itself cannot uh, allows the process of a physiological process of root formation because the pulp is either immature or it is a non-vital pulpless tooth and there is an irreparable necrosis happened so in such cases we have no other options we need to go for apexification but why we cannot do an RCT on this pulp or this particular truth because there is an open apex and the canal is blender bus and there is thin and fragile canal walls because of these reasons we just cannot do root canal treatment we have to go for apexification that is we need to seal the root end we need to close the root end so how we close the root end we induce the root end closure to form a calcified barrier or a osteocementum like structure will be formed will be induced to form at the root apex 
by keeping calcium hydroxide, methyl, uh, MTA or osteogenic protein 1 and 2. So these materials we can keep. So the procedure is little different. Uh, we remove the entire pulp and we keep this material at the root apex and after 3 months we recall the patient. We check whether it is symptomatic. So if it is symptomatic we have to redo it. We have to again clean the canals, we have to check the working length, clean the canals, again keep the material and send back the patient by keeping IRM that is intermediate restorative material we have to keep and we have to send back the patient and after 3 months we have to call him back and check, take an IOP and check the root closure. If the root closure is proper we have to check it using a file then we need to uh, finish the process. So it is a lengthier process, it might take 6 weeks to 18 months depending upon the uh, root closure and the, uh, the maturity or uh, the root length and other factors involved in the um, process of root formation. So that is the basic difference between apexogenesis and apexification. One is creating a normal uh, environment where the root can grow and this is creating a barrier. So that's all about apexogenesis and apexification. I'll come up with a new video on dentistry and more. Thank you.